Hey, good afternoon YouTube. Welcome on this beautiful Friday here in the Netherlands. Well, yesterday I got uh, Android uh, 5, uh, the Lollipop uh, ISO. So I thought let me show you guys how to create a bootable, uh, yeah, a bootable USB stick to you know install this thing on some netbook or some you know some tablet i have uh, i have this tablet here and in my next video we're gonna install uh, android 5 on the tablet so uh, now i just want to uh, show you uh, how to create a bootable usb stick from the thing we're gonna do that with power iso you could also do it with unet boot in but I go for power ESO. Um, by the way, doing this on a USB stick might uh, make your USB stick uh, unreadable after you, you know, want to use it back to normal. Then uh, you must check my other video uh, how to, you know, fix it again. How to fix your USB stick after, you know, creating a bootable ESO or bootable USB stick. Uh, I'm using version 4.9 because. Uh, this is the only version of um, yeah, Power ESO that uh, the last version of Power ESO without spyware in it. So I'm going for this one. Uh, it's only 1.5 megabyte and you can download it at old, I think old apps.com. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, uh, we just booted uh, or started up Power ESO, but I did it the wrong way, so I'm gonna close it again. The way we need to start Power ESO is with right mouse click. And then run as administrator if you don't do that it won't have the rights to you know to create the USB stick for you because you know it's gonna um, delete everything on the stick it's gonna format the stick so this could really harm the stick so you know Windows want full permission power ESO wants full permission to do that so you cannot complain later hey what did you do you remove my blah 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 you understand so make bootable usb drive you see that peeps that's what we do we hit that one and up here we just gonna go as i showed in many videos already uh we'll go to desktop and we can also see that uh the lollipop is way smaller than um than the previous versions of android android 4. you can see it, although it's still an alpha version so you know this is just brand brand this is straight from yeah this is not even to to be out there yet this is only for you know the early testers and i'm also one of them so you know like to share this with you so we're gonna say uh generic blah 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 don't touch this this you cannot change it and just say start and then yes you know and then it's gonna clear everything on the stick and then it will create a bootable usb after this is done you can then stick um the stick into any bootable uh, usb bootable uh, device and then uh, you will be able to uh, yeah to uh, boot from it and install whatever you want to install in this case android 5 so yeah you can also use uh, this method to create a uh, mac os x bootable drives or you know think of any drive you want to create that needs to be bootable you know most of the times it can be done done with power iso so this is a wonderful wonderful uh, program so check it out use it and uh, let me know uh, if you think this information was useful this is the first step of installing android to uh, a pc or a tablet so you know now we created a bootable stick that will not be readable in windows it will tell you cannot read i think let's take a look at that there you go if you want to open it it will say what will it say format this you see and if you look at the size of the disk now you know for instance if you want to go and format it if you're done this is what I, this was what i was saying and you go to properties then probably properties won't be 16 gigabytes anymore you see that so if you want to format it if you say format here then it might give you wrong sizes you see it says the stick is 250 megabytes 
that while this is a 16 gigabyte uh, stick so after that you will need a program called uh, boot ice is it boot ice let me see if it's boot ice from ipoly okay so now you got uh, ipoly started up this was starting two times idiotic so but this is the program that you need to fix uh, to fix your USB stick again then you just go to part manage and then you say repartitioning and then you say OK and then your stick will be fixed again back to 16 gigabytes because here you can see this program actually sees that this is 16 gigabyte you see that peeps so that's how to fix the stick after you're done and this is how to create a USB uh, bootable stick for Android 5.